Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about columns and coin manage. And um, to change the column settings, you're going to select tools, preferences. And one thing people are often confused by is there's a drop down here and it, it has different categories. One is showing collection, showing country, showing type, and showing denomination. And what these, these uh, entries correspond to is in the main collection view you'll see here you got a collection a country denomination and a type and so you're basically changing the columns for each of those individual items so um, you, you can make a column bigger without even going into the preferences what you could do is just drag the column to make it larger so larger so let me just make the variety column quite a bit larger so it's noticeable so I've changed the size of the variety column for when I'm selected I've selected a collection but when I go to denomination I'm sorry country denomination or type it's still gonna remain the same size it's only when I'm when I've selected a collection the variety field is is this large so some some people have been confused by that they say they've changed the size of a column and went back in the program and it seemed to revert the way that it was before and I'm pretty sure in almost virtually all of those instances it was because they changed the size for a particular uh, particular category and didn't realize it at the time anyway so the way to change the column settings is uh, the order and the uh, things like that is you can select tools preferences from the main menu click on the columns tab and right here let me change what shows when I'm showing a collection um, right now I'm showing the ID first let's say I don't want to even show the ID I'll just click delete there okay and as you can see it instantly changes so that the first column is no longer ID it's nowhere in the uh, display whatsoever um, by the way, the reason we have different column settings for each of these entries is we don't want redundant fields. Like for example, uh, my collection, it could be any, it could be United States or Canada or UK or whatever, uh, and so we want to show that information in, in a separate field. But if I click on the United States, I don't want a country column taking up space when I know I'm in the United States. So why should I? Why should the listing have a field that says United States for every entry? Same with the denomination. If I'm in the United States one cent, I don't want a, a country field and a denom denomination field because I already know what the, those, those um, fields are set to for every item in this list. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, anyways, so I changed the, I, I deleted the ID in the country section of the columns and I can do this with any any particular category so um, when I'm showing a type let's say I also don't want to see the ID there let's say I want to change the order um, let's say let's see what, what we can do here I just make the grading service go show up a little bit sooner you're just gonna click on it and select move up or move down uh, the delete key is self-explanatory if you want to add a new field so you want to add the, uh, so you have an error field that you use quite often, you want to add that, just click on add, and you can move that to where you want it to be. So I'm going to click OK, and now when I select the type, which is what I just changed, you see here I've got the new columns, the type, the error, the ID has been removed, and uh, so there you go. Well, uh, hopefully that's just a brief intro to intro to columns. Hopefully that clears up um, a few things for some people. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.